put the Laozi that you guys, that I sent you, up there. And I haven't figured out how to do it, but what you'll start to see is there'll be a Laozi translation with a date. And so the one that you have is, uh, I think, August something translation. And anytime I add to it or I tweak something, I'm going to give it a new date. Because if you carefully scrutinize what you have now and what you had last time, there are little word differences, little shifts. Uh, and sometimes you'll notice I'll shift back to something that I'd done a year before or three months before. Um, but it's a living translation. And things shift as I find something from another chapter or I settle on something or if I'm having a particularly good tea morning, uh, then the translation can change. Uh, I would feel guilty about it except for the fact that, uh, as I keep saying, there's only one other book that has more commentaries, arguments, and additions, and that's the Christian Bible, Lao Tzu's number two. And so if there was just one translation in Chinese, let alone in English, then there'd be no need to have a discussion or a class on it. So. Uh, what I hope is by continuing these changes and these tweaks that it means different things to you and then as you sit here and read what I'm writing and then you read the many available editions in English and you go online and you say that's completely different uh, you can play with it and what resonates and then you can start to read what kind of person is translating because as you read a translation that is from a specific field it becomes very obvious where the person's thinking is, and therefore you always see what you're thinking about, which is going to come up today. Uh, uh, Professor Wong takes a turn in one of the sentences and goes to a great deal of effort to explain the difference between Taoism and Buddhism. Uh, and so all of this is in here and inherent in what we bring to it and what we uh, have to it.